welcome to you in this fasting and prayer devotion. I believe that you must be enjoying during this fasting and prayer. If you still want to join us, those are not in the fasting, you can join us, still it's not too late. Well, my topic is today about passion to love other. Dusro ko pyar karne ka junoon. Well, what is love? For me personally, I believe that love is a beautiful thing, a beautiful, a wonderful tools, you can say the weapons, you can say. You know, I have changed, love has changed a lot of people. Love can change the mind of people, love can change the heart of people, love can change the mind of people. So mind, heart, and your life can be changed. You know, the love is so powerful. And, uh, but you know, it's not really easy always to love people. But I'll tell you, uh, the Bible says that God is love and love is God. And he wants us, his children, to love other people. You know, it's very easy for us to love our family member. Husband, wife can love together. Children can love. Parents can love to their children. Because they are in one circle. They are in one uh, boundary. But what about those who are outside of your boundary? Do you love them? Second thing, how do you love others? How you can love others? You know, the Romans uh, chapter 12 talk about renewing our mind. How we can renew our mind? Well, by reading the word of God, by meditating the word of God. When you read, when you meditate, when you study, Speak the scripture, you know, you will see that things are getting changed in your life. The word will fill you with the love of real, uh, with God. The word will fill you with the word of God, you know. Uh, and you will see that God's filling you with his love. So I will encourage you to speak the word of God every area in your life. Let's see the third point. How Christ loved others. Bible says, uh, Zermiah 31 verse, uh, verse 3 says, 31, 31 verse 3 says, I have loved you with the everlasting love. Wow, what a powerful scripture is it. But I'll tell you, this is not just a scripture, but this is like more than that. God has showed himself that I really love you, my child. He's saying this morning to you, this moment God is saying to you, I really love you. You know, that's why he showed that. He showed it doing practically, you know, John 3, 16 says that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Those who believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hindi mein yu kehta hai, kyunki parmeshwar ne jagat se aisa prem rakha ki usne apna ek lota putra de diya. Taki jo koi us parvishwaas kare, wo naash na ho, lekin anand jeevan ko paai. My friend, three things we can see here. God is ready to love you. Wherever you are, doesn't matter what language you speak, what nationality you are from, God loves you. God loves you, my friend. And he wants to give you eternal life. And also he says that he will not let you perish. What a beautiful thing. God wants to save you. He wants to give you guarantee that he really cares for you. He really wants your life to be saved. So when you believe in him, he will love you. And he will, second thing, that he will, your life will be secure. And third thing, that, third thing, that you're, you will be going to eternity. He will help you there. Till there. He will help you till end. God is a true God. He is a loving God. So just focus in that during this fasting and prayer. When you sit down in the presence of God, think about God, what God has done in for you. You know, He is a true God. Bible says that we love Him, but He first loves us. You know, His love is unconditional. Your husband, wife and family can love you because they want something from you. But God is a true God and his love is unconditional. My friend, I really want to invite you to come to Jesus. Love him, experiencing that he is a true God. He is a true lover. He can be your true lover. Amen. 
Let's pray and give our life, our days, and our time to the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I am so grateful that you are a wonderful God, and I know you personally, Lord. I know that you, how much you love me, not only to me, but whole world. You love whole world, Father God. I thank you so much. Those are watching me, I pray for them, Lord. I, sp I speak blessing over their life, salvation over their life, Lord. Continue walk with you, Lord. Help them to walk with you, Jesus. Help them to walk with you. I give you all glory in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.